Welcome to The 150 Comedy. My name is Chuck Roy, your instructor. This week we are studying the comedy writing technique known as the reverse. You can read about the reverse in Chapter 7 of Comedy Writing Secrets by Mel Helitzer. Let's start with an example from comedian Lenny Bruce. Every day, people are straying away from the church and going back to God. That's a good joke and an example of a reverse. Let's look at the steps it took to get to the comedy. Step 1. Mr. Bruce sets up the joke with, every day, people are straying away from the church. He tells you that people are quitting the church. He implies quitting the church is bad. Possibly, God will forgive us for moving on to step 2. Mr. Bruce wraps up the joke with a punchline. Every day, people are straying away from the church and going back to God. And going back to God is the punchline. Going to God is the point of church. Mr. Bruce took a bad thing, like quitting church, reversed it, and made it a good thing, like going back to God. Let's look at another example. After 12 years of therapy, my psychiatrist said something that brought tears to my eyes. He said, no hablo inglés. This is a great joke from Ronnie Shakes. To set up the reverse, Mr. Shakes takes us to his therapy sessions. After 12 years of therapy, my psychiatrist said something that brought tears to my eyes. We learn that Mr. Shakes has been in therapy for 20 years. He must be a San Francisco comic. What did Mr. Shakes' psychiatrist say that made him cry? The answer is in the punchline. The psychiatrist said, no hablo inglés. I do not speak English. Assuming Mr. Shakes was speaking English to his therapist for the past 20 years of sessions, we can conclude Mr. Shakes may feel like he wasted his time. First, he's doing something healthy, like getting therapy. Next, he's wasted 20 years of therapy appointments. Speaking of unhealthy, let's try an example from our next so-called comedian. I was raised in New Hampshire, where the state motto is live, free, or die. I chose move. Hmm. This is a joke. I guess. From a lesser known comedian named Chuck Roy. He tries. The comic attempts a setup line using New Hampshire's famous state motto, live free or die, which is wicked awesome. We learn that the author is fat. Andy grew up in New Hampshire. He's also pompously using his own joke in this lesson. Next, the author has a go at a punchline. I chose move is a funny choice and not one of the two choices presented in Live Free or Die. The author has barely achieved a reverse. Moving is a switcheroo between choosing to live or die. As a Boston comedian, I'm also authorized to tell you, go Pats, go Sox, the Yankees suck, and so does improv. Now it's your turn to write a joke. Try using the technique known as an anecdotal reverse. Select an anecdote or cliche phrase. What is the reverse of the phrase? To write your reverse joke, select an anecdote or phrase. Write it down. Now write down every comedic idea you can associate with the phrase. What direction does the phrase take the listener? Now it's time to turn the phrase. Give it a switcheroo to find the reverse joke. What is the reverse direction of your cliché or anecdotal phrase? What is the opposite idea of the phrase? Is there an easy switch to a funny idea? Here is an example of a cliché phrase. The writing on the wall. What is the reverse joke for this phrase? First, analyze the cliché for what direction it takes the listener in. The phrase makes the listener consider the writing, the wall, and what room are we in. List your ideas for what directions you think the phrase takes the listener. The next step is to turn the phrase. What is the reverse of writing? That's improv. What is the opposite of on the wall? Is there a room to switch the listener to? Consider the phrase and funny directions you can send the listener. The writing on the wall said, no graffiti. Zing, that's a punchline. Graffiti is writing on the wall. The writing on the wall says no graffiti. The writing is graffiti. Someone please explain this joke to Yankees fans. 
That's this week's lesson on the comedy writing technique known as the reverse. You can read about the reverse in Chapter 7 of Comedy Writing Secrets by Mel Helitzer. Thank you for watching. No animals were harmed in the making of this video, though one bear did get made fun of. Study the art of stand-up comedy with one of the world's leading collegiate comedy programs at Community College of Denver. I'm Chuck Roy, and I barely taught you about the comedy reverse.